Hello again. In this segment of our video, I'm going to talk to you about coronary angiography. I just want to talk a moment, though, about orientation so that we have a framework in which to reference ourselves. So if, if we think of the heart as a, the size of my fist and the coronary arteries as surrounding my fist, with the index and middle finger of my left hand here being the LAD and the circumflex, and the thumb being the right coronary artery, we can show all the projections that we're going to look at on the screen in very uh, concrete fashion. So if the viewer there is the x-ray camera, the heart sits sort of in an anterior posterior AP projection. As I rotate my left shoulder forward, or what we call left anterior oblique, the LAD rotates out toward the right side of the screen, and the circumflex is on the left side. And then if I move the camera, you're the camera, toward the cranial position, the arteries tip downward. So the left main comes out in the middle, LED along the right side here with septals and diagonals, and the circumflex and circ marginals run in this direction. Now let's go back to our unangulated view, go back to AP, and now let's rotate with the right shoulder forward or right anterior oblique, and you see that the arteries cross over and that the LED now runs on the left margin of the heart and the circumflex runs down in the atrioventricular groove. And if we tip the heart cranial, then the circumflex comes upward and is foreshortened, but the diagonals pop upward. And if we go caudal, then the circumflex falls downward and we can see the circumflex well and the diagonals become hidden. Okay, let's go back to zero and back to neutral. And now let's look at the right coronary artery. This is, my thumb is the right. It runs outward in this first projection down the wrist and the posterior descending comes out toward you. If we rotate now left anterior oblique, that posterior descending is directly in line with the camera. And if we go cranial, it tips the posterior descending artery downward. Now we'll go back to zero and I'll rotate my right shoulder anterior oblique and you see the right coronary artery as it comes down along the wrist and down the bottom becomes the posterior descending. Now we're going to take all of these views and we're going to look at them here on the angiograms.